so hello everyone how are you all after a long gap i am back again but with the most wanted series in my channel and it is vlsi project so from this video onward i'll try to help you as much as i can with this vlsi project things but before that we need to install all the open source edia tools right and that is again a big task so i thought this episode episode number one will be mostly dedicated to helping you guys with installing all those EDA tool all those dependency and so that from episode number two we'll be ready to try out new exciting project so the first step and that is you need to have a fresh ubuntu installed ubuntu or any linux system but i will try out everything using a ubuntu system but you don't need to sacrifice your window or anything because you can do the dual uh, boot thing i i'm not sure about mac but yeah for windows system you can always do the dual boot thing and i won't be showing how i did dual boot because there are a lot of tutorial already available how to make a ubuntu uh, side boot with your window existing window so i will start with a fresh ubuntu setup here this is a fresh ubuntu setup this is my terminal so i i hope you know a little bit about about of linux and linux is like uh, this is your terminal here we do everything in command and that is very cool actually like you write command and things get got installed if you have never tried any linux system then it might be a little bit of tedious but you need to learn it right because in future in industry we work on linux system only if you have never tried linux system it is a great way to learn it so this is my terminal i'll do everything but uh, the steps are there and fortunately we have one site where all the steps are written perfectly fine and that is x I, I don't worry i'll paste everything like all the links below in the description so don't worry um okay sky i, I will explain you what i'm doing everything so just be with me sky water sky So we will follow these steps here, all the steps and don't worry, I had made these steps very simple for you. I have something in this step actually, I'll show you this thing later. So uh, see, what we need to do, We that's our what's our aim actually. Our aim is to develop VLSI project. VLSI project means any, any project, any, any circuits, CMOS inverter, N gate, or probably a op amp, right? and if i go by classical way then first what we do we make the schematics or the symbol right we do the symbolize our circuit but symbol can't be understood by computer because computer need to have one zero those things those uh, things need to be there so that's why we need to transfer our schematic schematic is nothing but the symbols to a computer readable format and that is called your netlist where those symbol will be coded to a language which might be a spice very log or anything and then inside compiler will compile it to zero one format so that computer can understand so for doing these steps uh, like writing your symbols we need a schematic a, we need a schematic capturing tools and for that we have this special tool which is called x scheme then to transfer those symbols to a computer readable format we need to have the netlist and netlist is generated by in this our example or all the project which i'll be showing you by one of the tool and that is called your ng spice right and then after you do those things netlist is there uh, you need to simulate it right so for simulator we have there are many things ng spice also can simulate after simulation you need to see the graphs so ng spice can show you graph but we can also use uh, gao or something gaw is there that can also show graphs will show but after that uh, anytime we make any circuits the main objective of us is that we need to fabricate it from the foundry right you you can't fabricate a inverter like this that hey there is two CMOS symbols are there inverter need to be look like how they look in the real life and in real life they don't look like this they look like something like this so and that is nothing but your layout so after the first step we need to again draw the layout layout can also be drawn automatically there are many tools but as a beginner i'll strongly suggest you to do it by your hand right and for layout capturing we have another tool and that is called magic vlsi and it is really do magic with uh, with the circuits so for that we'll install magic vlsi then after you have done your layout you need to verify that hey our layout is perfectly matching with the schematic right so you need to do the lvs layout versus schematic 
so for that also we have different tool we will install those things so there are many tools actually and if you keep on following this instruction it is tedious real tedious because this instruction has been written some time ago but things are getting changed every day for example see here what we are doing we are doing we are cloning it from the git repository somebody has written this code right for and files for a scheme and they have uploaded it to git repository open open source accessible to everyone but they keep on updating it so sometimes this tutorial are not updated they become obsolete and you might face many issues but anytime you face any issue there would be some hint that hey this is not found or hey install this in the timeline only you'll get probably we'll see in our installation today's installation only but google as these things are open source so in google if you search any query like you are getting this error that error you just need to search a little bit but there are answer to every question so don't worry but i'll try my best to make this installation process as simpler as possible so what i did i made actually one shell script for you and this is already uploaded to git repository i will give you this uh, link to my description you can go there you can download it here uh, i have written all the readme file how to do it right like uh, you have the step one in step one you need to download this so let me go there this is the shell script uh, and it is very simple there is nothing rocket science here actually what i am doing i am actually following this uh, steps only but in a coded format so that we will run one time and everything get installed for example in somewhere they have said you need to have uh, many things like for example see here uh, to install a scheme go to instruction so if i go there then in somewhere they will say hey you need this dependency to be installed first before you try to install x scheme and this are again might be old so this name might got changed and i tried actually doing that and it is at too much time taking too much uh, yeah you understood it right so that's why to make your day easy and to make my day also easy so that i can make this tutorial very quickly i had made this shell script okay so let me go there so actually i have two shell script firstly i thought hey two shell scripts are this and this firstly i have combined both of them together in one of the script but it, it was causing some issue so that's why what i did i find out in my multiple try that it fail on this step when we are trying to install open pdk again pdk has some defined concept i won't be teaching you this thing here in my, my previous video i have already but in my future video i'll again when i'll discuss about the project layout but for now let us concentrate mainly on installing everything which is required for attending this tutorial series so don't think about that hey uh, rajdeep is not not explaining everything i will explain for sure as we go through but today no let concentrate on installing this thing actually let me do one thing let me copy it from here you you don't copy it from here because uh, comments are there now so they, they might cause issue uh, try comment uh, copying it from here. copy everything i'll come here and here i will make my own local shell uh, sh uh, shell script because I, I need to run it here right so for that we like we have many editor here, here notepad like vi editor are they are pre-installed but i lo love one of the editor which i use in my everyday work and that is n edit so let me first install n edit you can also install but you can also try with vi vi is also fine vim editor but i'll install that so i'll write sudo apt get install and edit and my password yes it will own and it depend on your wi-fi speed but these are small small uh, packages they won't take much time one two minutes mostly yeah so done so now what i'll do i'll do and edit the new uh, file a text file actually a text file with the extension dot sh so i'll write auto dot sh it's a text file only you can see new file and here i'll paste everything whatever i have copied from the git repository so our script is ready i have saved it Control s and with Control w you can close it or you can cut it also no issue now i will write it so to run a shell script you need to run it you first you need to come to the place where it got created so it got created here only uh, how i will know i will just do ls 
with ls if you know about um, linux you know with ls you can find out everything what been created and what been created latest you can write ls minus lrth so you can see see uh, this being created recently today so what i'll do i'll write to run a shell script you need to write source and then the file name and we are starting the installation so <laughs> finger crossed hopefully it will go through without any error and then we'll do the step two it might ask you your password multiple time or yes or no you need to click y and keep on going and never ever try control c here control c copying anything won't work as control c in terminal I i'll tell you how it work but never ever press control c here it will terminate your current process and it might break the things so currently what it is doing if i go underground what it is doing it is let me make it a little smaller and let me make it always on top so i can see it every time and this is our script so it is actually started from step one it is installing all the prerequisite dependency required for this uh, installing these tools then it will go for x scheme which is a schematic capturing tool then it will install magic vlsi which is a layout capturing tool and then it will install ng spice which will make our symbols or our layout which computer can't understand to a compo to a computer readable format so ng spice is there and also ng spice will, will help us to simulate the things and um, simple these three things only mainly we'll install now with this step and after that we'll go to the pdk and if i have quick time then pdk is nothing but the definition of your symbols like you are using a mosfet right and finally at the end of the day mosfet need to be formed into layout and need to be fabricated by somebody else like for example tsmc so if you do something on your own you can take mosfet from some i i don't know some some somewhere else like that definition mosfet also has a definition background somebody had coded it right uh, it's gate voltage it's threshold voltage but if you tell hey tsmc fabricate it for me then tsmc will say hey you haven't fo followed my specification so how i will know the tsmc specification i will request tsmc hey give me your pdk and they will give me their pdk and then i will do my design following their specification only so at the end of the day i can fabricate with their foundry and in this projects whatever we will be doing we won't be asking tsmc because tsmc <laughs> we can't afford tsmc but thanks to google and the skywater they already had released one open source pdk which is called sky 130 so for all the project will follow their specification sky 130 and that's why in the step two we will install their pdk and i have many things to discuss about about pdk and uh, for sure in future i'll make dedicated video around pdk because if you want to pursue any backend vlsi job layout engineer cad or anything uh, there will be a age over other candidate if you know uh, what is pdk how pdk are written because anytime you you are in back backend job you need to clear your drc error lvs error and to clear them you need to read pdk uh, those specification again and again and every day so if you already had worked on some project where you have okay let me click y first where you have worked uh, with pdk then it will give you a huge edge over other who have already only done on theory but never used a practical pdk to do any projects and uh, yeah it's done and i hope everything got installed you must have little tools to compile and this file i hope everything is got installed i will check after ev uh, everything is done uh, now is a time taking like now next step would be some time ta uh, taking step because there it will try to install a big file the pdk is a big file and it totally depend on your wi-fi speed but uh, i'll tell you how much time i had taken So I will copy one line by, <coughs> so I'll copy one line at a time and I'll keep on executing it here. And then why is this? This is actually a, again, something like uh, ng-spice only, but yeah, it's a dependency. So let me install it. 
dependency for open pdk and then uh, cd2 this is a custom and then uh, we will download the pdk from their repository it will take some time i might pause this video here but uh, it will take some time so don't worry be patient uh, have patience and uh, never try control c have patience it, it take time really it take time so after it done let me go inside it will make a uh, folder which will be named as open ptk i'll go inside and then i'll try to configure it and these steps you can go in depth what i am doing but it is not required so don't worry and build is also done very quickly i never thought it will be so quickly and then make uh, actually in industry uh, we have a dedicated guy for doing this thing this these are called env environment setting up so we have dedicated guy for that and they are mostly from cs background so as a vlsi background nobody ex expect you to know these things but here we need to do ourselves i'm also not a, not an expert but uh, yeah you if you wanna go and know deep inside what is like what does dot configure do make do you can but i am not gonna explain here i'm sorry because i also know, don't know here each step probably this step i forgot make uh, take lot of time a lot of time half an hour one hour depending on your wi-fi speed and many other dependencies so have patience i am pausing the video now we will see after this step done so on our bad luck we got one error as expected and that is they are not finding uss i am not sure i have installed it before before running this but still it is failing and uh, as i have said right anytime you might face many error like this hopefully i am expecting not but if you face something like that now nah, you just need to uh, debug like uh, read each line and there would be some hint for example uh, they are saying here see resolve package not found use it uh, i'm not sure why it is coming but hmm yeah i'm not sure so let do one thing let us try to install it again <laughs> make them happy sudo apt minus y installed mm, and it is saying oasis is already the newest version i'm not sure why it error out so let me do one thing let me run make again but with this sudo make probably this might do the change yeah i started again uh, hopefully this time we'll get the like we can get to the next step and next step is make install so i'll see you uh, after if i get any error or if i get the success message so now it got stuck here uh, living directory and it will take some time to get out of it uh, sometime you might have tendency to do control c here uh, thinking it got hanged but no it is not got hanged it is doing its work so again have patience uh, let me see for me how much time it take i'll tell you so finally it is finished and it took around one hour to complete so this step this step is the most time taking so have your patience and let me run this one and here again i think we need to have sudo but let me try out this let me see what error we will get here install see uh, we are having permission error so that means we need to have sudo here i'll edit it when i'm doing and my password yeah let me edit this and i don't think it will take much time now yeah it's done and lastly let me do this one this is just to integrate your magic vlsi or the layout uh, editor with the ptk for x and it is done okay we'll test everything don't worry and let me open the steps here because steps all steps are not done you please remember 
uh, this step is not done so let me do this step and we need to go to this directory cd to this directory no such file hmm. okay i think uh, this folder will be created after we run xkim once so i'll do this later uh, let me check okay so we have done with this step and now we are he <coughs> here so at this stage we must be having this folder already created let me see ls if i can access that and see we have it so they are saying that to test it we need to like to test if our xkim got installed or not we need to make a directory and it is simple so let me go to here cd dot dot i'm going out of here let me make a directory mkdi make a directory anything like test first project cd to test first project go inside and then they are saying uh, copy this file here this is actually uh, a scheme rc which will you can read here it's written already but which will integrate your pdk the specification with your schematic capturing tool so we need to do that thing let me do this cp means copy uh, this is the source and dot is the end in this folder copy it so i'm copying it and here pasting it for pasting again control v won't work uh, let me try uh, probably right and paste will work or middle button of the mouse will work so yeah and ls it will copy it now is the testing time guys so i'll write x scheme and person and wow we got x scheme code installed we can see uh, below you can see we, we, we are getting the same picture right so we have done but uh, here i will add one additional step and that step is installing actually uh, let me let me close it so i'll click here ctrl c uh, i don't think so file let me close it actually yeah so there is one step and that is uh, this step i'll do because it will make uh, our life easy and that is installing a separate terminal this is your main terminal of linux right but we'll run xkim or other tool in the x server and that is your x term so we will install that so let me install this because then uh, processing become fast actually it like oh no no i need to install it first right and uh, surprisingly x term it's a type of terminal only used So let me install uh, this xterm and actually we also use xterm a lot yeah xterm is nothing but a type of terminal i'll show you like this is your terminal right so it's just another type of uh, terminal so i'll write xterm and n person n person to uh, run these things in the background because i need this terminal available to me if I don't put n person, then this terminal will be busy to run this x term. So n person will make this terminal free. So x term and see. This is just a kind of terminal, but yeah, um, it's better because for x scheme, probably we need to use our terminal for other work during our design process. But x scheme need a terminal to show its uh, what's going on. So this x term will be there, and our one terminal will, will be free. So that's why I have installed here. So here what I will do because we have already copied this xkmrrc file which will uh, integrate it to the uh, what called to your pdk so let me run it here again xkim scheme only so I have launched it here xkim uh, you can study these things uh, there are many things but there are examples also um, and uh, in this actually they tried us to <coughs> go through you can try it out for you to show that how xkim is working we will 
explore magic also layout tool in our further video uh, but the first step is schematic capture right so let us see if xcam is up and we can work with it so probably we have installed everything successfully but we need to try it out right so for that we will do a short project a simple CMOS inverter and we'll see if everything is uh, running as expected so for that first we will make a directory uh, a new directory so make dir <coughs> mkdir and we'll give something like test um, first so mk <coughs> mkdir first test like that we'll give a name no issue and after that we want to execute or launch our X scheme here, right? But our X scheme need to be integrated with our PDK, Sky 130. So for that, the first step, and that is copy the X scheme RC file from the installed location. So what's the installed location? And that is your um, real path will give you the real path, but uh, I don't need real path. Let me go there, CD, I change right click to user slash i guess local um, yeah after typing anything if you're not sure for example locally if it is there or not you can press tab to get the the full that local and then share and then pdk and uh, then i forgot <laughs> let me refer where it got installed yeah so this is the path here directly so let me do it directly copy it here cp this is the path um pdk then sky 30 and then and these things from where i'm getting uh, these things all are written in these steps which i'll share which link i'll share so this is the part you can follow each step and also my uh, this video and i hopefully you won't face any issue and copy it to this location so dot so let me try and see we have this one right uh, i think i did something wrong i have copied it outside of this directory so i first i need to go inside first and then copy it inside ls this there so now i'll launch xkim and i won't be launching it from here i'll launch it from our xterm which i already have installed xterm and person here is xterm and i'll launch x -kim. and n person is not required here and see xkim is there so for sure xkim is working perfectly fine uh, it's also got integrated to our PDK, but I need to check about ng spice. Uh, magic I'll check in some other video when we'll start layout projects on layout. But first we need to do in schematic mainly and then simulation after simulation. So I have opened a new tab here. I'll save it. Control save. I'll save it as uh, something like first or check. We are not gonna check this thing. Check dot uh, sch schematic create and okay so it's got saved so quickly we will try to have one cmos inverter so for that we i will click sh shift i here and th th that thing this shortcut kivo shortcut you can also get it from here um, somewhere we, we will have pro probably adding tools insert symbols so here you can see all the shortcuts and these shortcuts are exactly similar not exactly but mostly similar to your cadence virtue so probably synopsis also there we press i to get these things so first i need two voltage source one is for our vcc another is for our v in so i'll go inside and here we'll have one v source uh, let me search it V source. I hope we should have one search button here to search everything perfectly, but I'm not sure why it's not there. But it's okay. Oh, is there? Okay, zoom in, zoom in, just call your mouse button. Uh, this is one, and then I need another. So shift I, okay, and another. And then I can change the things, other things, uh, but uh, we'll do this thing later. Then two MOSFET I need. So for MOSFET, this is the basic library of schematic here also probably you will have uh, some dios pmos but we won't be using those we will be using things which are coming from the pdk sky 130 so i'll go up i'll come inside this
and inside this library how I know because I already did it that's why but don't worry in future project we will let you know you only after doing one two three project you will also know from where what things are coming so here we have different type of MOSFET and MOS PMOS and of different voltages different threshold for different voltages different threshold voltages but for this quick test we'll use the simplest one and that is I'm missing a search button here uh, and MOS this one this fellow okay keep it down because NMOS always come down PMOS always come up shift I why I have already a video on it why in CMOS inverter PMOS are always have up and NMOS is always down okay okay don't deviate this one okay and get it here and I wanna connect them right so for connecting you just need to go uh, the first terminal where you need to connect your wire and then press W and then wait and then your uh, we need to connect our like uh, VCC here uh oh why it's not working yeah VCC will I'll connect here and ground I'll connect here uh, this body of NMOS should be connected to the ground and the body of PMOS should be connected to the power I think this might cause issue but later we will see no issue now I need ground and I need some levels so for that shift I again we will go up we will go inside the primitive devices of a scheme which has been provided we will go here lab there, there is something called lab, uh, lab pins so I will get this I will put it one here I need another lab pins uh, in um, cadence actually we have like if you select one now you can place them one by one here I don't know how to do that but probably we have this utility but now I am selecting every time so I need to see like from where we can find it out uh, I need many more actually uh, this lab pin okay I will put one here and also I need for one for V in another for V out so let me get these things here I can rotate it shift R I can rotate it so V out and shift I again get another and this would be your V in now I need to connect these two fellow here so I keep it here and W I connect it and then zoom in W connect it here and then connect it here and then change the name of it to V out change name name of this to V in and oh <laughs> okay here we I have already replaced this should be your VCC we are missing ground so shift I GND GND where is GND um, yeah this is GND I need 3 GND GND means ground okay shift I ground so okay now we need to provide see one would be VCC which will connect here another would be your VN so VCC is simple just click down two time and we'll make it 1.8 volt perfect why 1.8 volt because this MOSFET support 1.8 volt that's why and this one this should be like we are trying an inverter right so there should be pulse up pulse down pulse up so there should be a pulse signal so we can uh, give something like this okay and okay and I also need to change the name this is not V1 uh, this this is our VCC I need to change here also it should be VCC this should be our V in and anything left yeah this name uh, this should be of VCC, VCC. Uh -huh, what do we get yeah I hope everything is done now what I'll uh, nothing is done actually we, we need something to place here very important thing and that is we need to tell our tool right uh, what simulation to be run there are many type of simulation but now we'll be running a trans 
uh, transient simulation transient means we will um, run it for a particular amount of time and we'll see its output and input characteristics so that is called tra transient so that need to be defined here so for that shift e and we have a here like yeah code shown place it here go inside and here uh, this thing could be anything you can make it there and the value we need to put um, things actually important things first we need to connect this uh, schematic to our PTK again okay so for that we need to place this thing and this thing will be, would be same for uh, not same but yeah such kind of things in India we, we do such kind of simulation so here one quotation so it is tell it is telling me like uh, leave yeah, this is your reference from there you take the definitions of uh, everything like uh, here we are using MOSFET uh, these two MOSFET so we need to tell our tool right from where definition should be catched up on and then we are telling here it's a transient res response of step point one nano and go up to one micro but one micro would be little higher I will go up to hundred nano seven and then save all so this is simple simple simplest kind of setup and press ok I hope we will uh, it will run now okay now uh, another one time job we need to do and that is uh, configuring our simulation environment so I'll go in simulation configure simulation tools and this spice for spice simulation and this spice selected and I hope we have installed and spice <laughs> let me see and for uh, GAW, I think we haven't installed, but no issue. And Spice can for today, and Spice can show us the graph. Uh, later video, we will check. Okay, so I think Spice is not working. So let's go back CD2 or bundle LS CD2 and Spice and their LS. And then we'll do again. We are doing the same uh, steps which already been written in that script. Uh, probably for you we don't require but if it give the issues like that then you you can do these things again configure uh, I think configure is not working there let me open up this one these are the steps for ng spice we will do the steps again for the ng spice mm, let me run this thing I think some issues Hmm, I think we got this error uh, during execution of our script. So that's why I'm getting this compile and this spice. So you must have lib tool installed. So lib tool probably is not installed here. So we will search in our search bar install lib tool Ubuntu 22.0. How to install lib tool? I think in dependency I have inserted that but I am not sure why so okay no issue uh, I'll try to include this thing in the script again so whenever you are running the script probably you won't face this issue but if you face then please uh, do these steps and then this So it is done now. I'll run that one. Uh, that again, and now it is going through. And I think it will take some time. Hmm, success. So we'll go here. What's the next step again? Um, go inside release CD2 release, and then uh, this one. then make and then make install after installing this we will uh, terminate our X scheme and we'll launch our X scheme again so that it get these settings so uh, it uh, not done yet let me write sudo make So after it install, we will uh, terminate our X scheme, the schematic, and we'll relaunch it so that it get uh, these settings like ng spice. So this step run for around uh, 10 minutes, 
and now we'll run this one the last step sudo make install I hope you don't take much time and it's done now let me see if any spice is up or not yeah any spice any spice is up so exit and we will exit xkin from here exit and then uh, fully exit and we will go to our wait so we will launch our x scheme again and no no not like that we will launch x scheme with our design and it is what was that untitled something <laughs> it's not saved hmm so a bad news we have lost our edits so let me do the edits and i'll come back again so i again edited the schematics so to avoid this error that uh, last time i just lost my edit what you need to do and that is uh, when the first time you you are doing your schematic just go there and uh, save as and then here file name you give your file name and then press ok and then it will get saved so that we don't lose it okay okay so after the schematic is ready and everything is done all taking everything is done then the next step would be click on netlist it will do the netlisting so after clicking uh, you can for you probably this window won't be coming after you click on netlist because one of the option might be disabled in your window I'll tell you how to enable it but anyway this is your netlist okay let me save it so to see this window what you need to do you need to go to your view and you can see here uh, no sorry option you can see here I, I have given this Sh show netlist window if this being disabled then this pop-up won't uh, appear after you click netlist but uh, this is not an issue because anyway netlist is being created and your netlist is being placed into a folder and the folder is uh, if you if we go to this instruction that it's been saved in this location so let us copy this and to will verify that so we'll just cd and we'll go to that location and then ms and see this is your netlist it got created now another thing anytime you click on netlist actually it will show you if you have done any error if it is showing nothing uh, then you, you are lucky you have not done any, anything wrong so for example uh, i have forgot to connect this one okay and then i pressed on netlist then what is happening Th this is coming from netlist but this is not the perfect netlist because we are getting this error and that is one of the net is undriven it is not driven by any power or if you do short then also it will show that hey you have done one short here so you need to clean it and then only on anyway it will create a netlist but that netlist won't be the perfect one right you might get a wrong simulation result so that's why uh, this window info window should not be appearing after you click on netlist we will deal about this thing in more detail in our next uh, project specific videos but i'm just uh, telling you here so and uh, to go back like i have deleted it right to so to do undo you can just press u to undo and again these things are ex exactly same as your cadence virtue so so if you learn here then learning cadence virtue so is uh, very easy for you so that's why i press right every time that hey you need to work on free da tool if you don't have access to cadence virtue so okay so let me create netlist and netlist got created after netlist got created you need to simulate it so i'll click on simulation and see simulation got started no compatibility issue is success and yeah i think our simulation is done and this is the window from the ng spice right so now we want to plot this graph to see hey what is happening actually right uh, for plotting we have some dedicated software like gaw or other thing but yeah ng spice can also plot your graph so for today let's do with ng spice only so in ng spice we have a command and it is plot so now you wanna plot what we wanna plot between our v in and the v out so i'll write v in and v out and see here is the graph red is your v in and blue is your v out so this is looking like your inverter right when our v in is high our v out is slow when our v in is low our v out is high that is the work of our inverter but if you zoom in i'm not sure how to zoom in you can see here uh, 
here I can zoom in or, or something had happened okay no issue but you can see the spikes and uh, if you follow me then in my one of the tutorial interview tutorial I have already explained explained why this spike is coming here okay and in most of the interviews mtech admission interviews exam they keep on asking on this question again and again so if you know this then comment it down but if you don't know then check out my that playlist and in our next video what we will do we will try to replicate this git repository this is from one of my friend mayank so so he had done a wonderful job here uh, he have explained everything and then done all the procedures to get up to the inverters cmos inverters We'll try out this one to make your own Git repository. I think he haven't gone up to the layouts. So we'll try to go up to the layouts. So till then, uh, please install everything. Comment down if you are getting any issue. I'll try to help. Other people will help you if uh, they have the solution. And uh, do it fast because next video will come very fast. So till then, tata, bye bye.